Nine wants to know why the Denver Public Library is not reporting sex crimes to police. Indecent exposure, sex in the bathrooms, child porn on library computers, and dozens of other crimes. All happening inside the Central Library branch just since the beginning of the year. Tonight, Melissa Blasius sits down with the library's chief security official who admits his staff has failed to report some of those sex crimes to police. This all started with a viewer's tip, a woman who says a man had exposed himself to her in the library last week. The woman said she was studying on the third floor of the library when she noticed a man looking at her and masturbating. She called for help. We immediately began a systematic search of the building looking for the person based on that vague description. But the security guards could not find him. They also did not call Denver police. The victim ended up calling police herself and said what happened that day was reprehensible and a complete violation of public safety. We take every incident very serious, Melissa. I don't, I don't believe for one second, and, and if we gave her that impression, I certainly apologize for that. But Nide wants to know, found out since the beginning of the year, <laughs> library security has internally documented 60 incidents of sexual misconduct, mostly adults looking at porn on library computers. However, a handful of incidents were much more serious and criminal, including indecent exposure, sex in the bathrooms, and accessing child porn. Security manager Bob Knowles says his staff should call call police to report all crimes. But that hadn't happened every time in the past. It hasn't happened every time in the past. That is correct. Including on April 27th, a security guard discovered a man watching child pornography and let the guy walk away, never informing police. The officer himself made a mistake. He acknowledged he made a mistake. He was counseled, retrained. Denver police records show library security has only called on one sexual misconduct incident all year. Library records also show that some of the people banned from the library for prior sexual misconduct were found inside the library again. Knowles says they do keep books with pictures of banned people at security desks. Nine wants to know asked about other security measures. Well, we've kind of changed some of our routes and patrol zones and, and areas of responsibility, refocused on uh, customer areas uh, to make sure that we're doing the right things. I also asked Bob Knowles what he would say to parents who may hear this story and worry if their children are safe from sexual predators inside the library. I tell them that I allow my grandchildren to come here first and foremost. Library officials stress that the children's library section is off limits to adults who do not have children with them and that there are also separate bathroom facilities for children. Nine wants to know will continue asking questions about the issues of security at the Denver Central Library. Melissa Blasius, Nine News. Melissa contacted the Denver Police Department about what we found. DPD tells us they're meeting monthly with public library leaders and security guards should be reporting all suspected crimes. The Denver City Librarian is promising changes after a Nine Wants to Know investigation this week that showed the security guards at the Central Library were not reporting sex crimes to the Denver Police Department. And one of the promises is to retrain the security staff starting next week. Investigator Melissa Blasius talked with a woman who first told us about what was going on, about what she'd like to see happen now. It was Sunday afternoon when this woman says a man exposed himself to her inside the Denver Central Library. She emailed Nine Wants to Know, saying that she felt library security showed a lack of concern about the crime. I was told that it happens all the time and there's really nothing they can do about it. And, well, you weren't attacked, so that's that. A Nine Wants to Know investigation uncovered library security logs showing nearly a dozen apparent sex crimes in 2013, including people watching child porn on public computers. Security staff almost never informed police about the sexual misconduct. What do you think a library should be? A safe place that community members can go to and use for its intended purpose. But it shouldn't be a sort of free-for-all where there's no consequences. Two days after our first report, and the city librarian is now saying security guards will undergo training next week to emphasize response priorities, customer care, and the critically important job of reporting illegal activities to the police. That's great. If, if they have some sort of plan to deal with future incidents, I think that really was the goal of me writing that initial email. 
Library officials are also reviewing past incidents to see whether other criminal activity exposed by Nine Wants to Know should be forwarded to police. Melissa Blasius, Nine News. Nine News agreed to shield the woman's identity because she is a crime victim and is worried about her safety. Officers have pictures of a suspect through security cameras, but they have not arrested anyone yet.